Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jazakal Lahir for joining me for this lesson on Hamza Tul Wasal. Hamza Tul Wasal comes at the beginning of a word. It comes in the beginning of verbs, nouns, and prepositions. It is dropped when joined. Hamza Tul Wasal is pronounced as a fatah in the following cases. If it comes as part of a definite article, which means it comes in the form of al, we have two cases that we apply. We either pronounce it as Lam Shamsia or we pronounce it as Lam Komaria. Lam Shamsia basically means that we drop the Lam and pronounce the Hamza of the Wasa with the third letter, and you will have a Shadda to indicate that you now have to join. In the second case, what we have is a Lam and a Hamza of the Wasa, and we will put a Fatah on that and we will say Alhamdu, and we will say Al Rahman. So we are dropping the lamb in Shamsiya and we are pronouncing the lamb in al Gomariya. You can watch a separate video on the two, Gomariya and Shamsiya, lamb and Gomariya and Shamsiya, or the uh, rules of lamb sacking. Hamza the Wasal is pronounced as a kusra in the following two cases. So if you have Hamza the Wasal at the beginning of a word, it usually doesn't have a vowel on it. And sometimes it won't come as a definite article with al. So in some cases, you will see Hamza al wasa come as part of the definite article al. And in some cases, it will not come with al. It will just come as a individual letter, independent letter that stands alone. If that happens, you have two cases that you need to, um, two conditions of that, and you will apply one of the case for both of those conditions. You need to look at the third letter and you need to look at the vowel of the third letter. If the third, if the third letter has a gusra, you will place a gusra on Hamza Tul Wasal. If the third letter has a fatta, you will still place a gusra on Hamza Tul Wasal. So if the third letter has a fatta or gusra, you will be placing a gusra in both these cases. So it doesn't matter whether the third letter has a fatta or a gusra. Usually in Hamza Tul Wasal, you always look at the third letter because in, this, in most of the cases, the second letter will also be a second letter. So you always have to look at the third. So I'll say, Esbir Ekoro. Esbir Ekoro. So all the time you need to place a gusra and not a fatta. Then you have a second case where Hamza Tul Wasal is pronounced with a dhamma. Now, if the third letter of a verb is a dhamma, which is here on the da, we have a dhamma. I'm going to place a dhamma on Hamza the Wasa, and I'm going to say, Ustuhfidhu. Here, I'm placing the kasra, Esbir, Ekoro. These are the rules of Hamza the Wasa when he comes without the definite article. If it comes as part of the definite article, you will apply rules of Lam Kamariya and Lam Shamsiya. In the cases of Fatta and Kasra, you'll always be placing a Kasra on Hamza to Wasa. Remember the rule that you look at the third letter. And if it comes where it comes in a word where the third letter has a Dhamma on it, you will be placing a Dhamma on Hamza to Wasa. When Hamza to Wasa comes or is preceded by a Tanween, you convert, you, you, do, you, you make the wheel. So you, you change the tanween before the Hamza Tawasa. So what you are doing is you, you're using the broken noon. So it is called noon maksura. You're breaking the noon and you're converting it, you're changing that tanween to a broken noon. So instead of saying no hun, you see that sound of the noon, no hun. But now I, I'm, I've landed myself in a little bit of a problem because this next word starts with Hamza the Wasal and it is a Sakin letter. So I have to give it a vowel because you can't have two Sakin letters together and that's a standard rule in Arabic. So I'm going to pronounce one of the Dhamma and I'm going to convert the second one into a Noon with the Kasra. So I'm going to say no. So I am going to pronounce my tanween, but I'm going to make sure that I connect 
the noon in the tanween with the kasra to the next letter. So once again, I'm changing the tanween so that I can pronounce Hamza Tawasa by converting the tanween to a broken noon. And a broken noon basically is this what I'm talking about. Instead of saying no hun, that's not broken, but if I say no hun nib naho, no hun nib naho, or no hun no hun nib naho. I'm I'm not pronouncing the tanween fully. I'm pronouncing the tanween and I'm using that noon to connect. I'm connecting that noon. This is a rule of Hamza Awasa with tanween and the other rules that I've just mentioned to you, inshallah. I hope you found this video quite useful. Just up ahead for watching. Wa'akrutan alhamdulillah. Ya Rabbil A'lami. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.